Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today we have the Huawei 5G Outdoor CPE. That is the AF9E version. I'm just gonna start off by saying if you hear any background noise, we apologize for that. There is some construction going around our building right now. So if you hear any sort of loud murmuring, that is the machines going. So I apologize for that in advance. But yeah, if you remember a few weeks ago, we did the unboxing of the prototype version of this. We called it the 5G Outdoor CPE Pro. And that's because we didn't really have a name for it. But now we have the official version. You can see here, the Huawei 5G Outdoor Antenna AF9E. So that's the official name. This is the official thing, official release. We'll have this on the website very soon. We'll have it on Amazon as well. So you can get this in the description very soon. We'll put it on there as soon as we've got it available. So first off, we're just gonna open the box up. You can see as we open it, you get your quick start guide as usual, and then we get the device. So first things first, we take out of this wrapper. You can tell this device is very different to the previous one we unboxed. It's a completely different shape. I would say a bit, quite a bit smaller. It would fit nicer basically on a wall. This is the wall mounted version. This is the device here. So we're just gonna pull it out. You can see it also comes connected this time to the cable. Previously you had to plug it in. Now it is built into the device. There's none of that setting up you need to do. So if you lift up this underneath, you have the wall mount this is adjustable so you literally just twist this way to unlock it and you can adjust it you'll likely just leave it in this position unless you mount it onto a pipe which brings us onto this part this is the attachment to the pipe so you wrap it around the pipe this part goes around sort of the drainage pipe that you have off your roof and then it connects to the device and you can attach it that way rather than drilling it into the wall and then you also have the screws which go into the back so we're just gonna Get rid of this box now. So here is all the parts. So you've got, again, the wall mount, the device, pipe mount, and the wire, screws you get with it, and the quick start guide. So we're just gonna quickly go through some of the quick start guides. It shows you your accessory list, what you need. So this is all here. And then it also shows you the tools you will need to install this device. Now, a quick note is this will not provide your home with 5G if you do not already have a router that is compatible with this device. So what that means is you cannot just set this up and expect your house to instantly have 5G, your apartment to have 5G. You need to install it to somewhere that you can attach these plugs to, or at least a converter to attach these plugs to. This is not a router, it is simply a sort of extender, a high gain antenna, which basically enhances the signal you already currently get into your router. So now we're just gonna briefly show you how, in theory, you would attach this device here, this wall mount to your actual device. So let me move these parts to the side for a second. So what you wanna do is find an area that you think is suitable for this device. We device somewhere secure, so no one can sort of tamper with it, and also somewhere quite high up, because the higher up, the better chance of getting signal and less chance of theft. So turn it over to the back here, where you can see it has the mount, along with some of the model information. And then you wanna attach this device here. So this is the wall mount. You wanna find a wall that you think is suitable. So this wall would be vertical, not like this. You wanna put it in a position you think is suitable for the device, and then use the device to mark out the area for your screws to go. Once that's marked out, drill into the wall, place these in, place the device over the top, and simply screw with the washers on into the wall through these gaps here. So yeah, so that's when the wall mount will be in. So now you have your wall mount actually drilled into the, an area of the wall that you feel comfortable with and you think is safe. But then take your device and simply slide the device, not the wall mount, you would slide the device down into the mount until you feel it click, which you can't really hear, but it's actually here you can see this pushes down. So you slide it in like so. So you, there you go, you heard it feel the little click and then you know your device is safely attached so you see that not going to come off either way not really your house would move that much but it's attached so that's that done you would then take this end connect it to your router or inverter as previously stated the cable is long enough to go from the outside to the inside through anywhere you wanted to you might have to drill another hole in your wall to push this through like you would have to if you installed sort of a a cable skybox for example so now that's set up we will just do a quick run through of how to set up the pipe so then you want to take your wall mount from its part here could be a bit tricky because it is metal you want to take this rubber part here and remove it from that place it to the side then you want to push this metal through the gap like so it is a bit tricky and then you want to place the plastic back over 
make sure the grippy end is facing upward like so and then simply pull it round this then wraps round the pipe you then insert this back through the gap you then insert this back through this hole here and it should pull tight around the pipe like so and hold your wall mount up as long as you tighten it well enough we don't really have a pipe here so it is a bit more difficult for us to show how this works full action but it does come with a quick start guide and we'll sort of talk you through it on this paper here so that's all the installation of the product set up this is all the parts again what we would like to mention is that 5g is rolling out across the uk this is a 5g extender which means if you have a 5g signal it will boost that but it's not 5g exclusive so if you have a currently bad or poor 4g signal one of these boosters will also increase your signal for that as it sits outside your reception will be increased significantly we've seen in certain areas so as 5g rolls out you'll also be safe for that because this has capabilities for 5g i believe it's up to 1.6 gigabytes per second download this is possible of producing which is an insanely fast speed uh, for a download basically only limited by what your router your in-home router can actually do as far as 5g coverage i believe it's currently exclusive to london but it's been rolled out across the country now places such as Birmingham, Milton Keynes has 5G and other areas across the UK. We'll be receiving 5G fairly soon, likely within 2020. So one of these would be suitable for now and for the future. So that's about it for 5G and for this extender in general. This is again an antenna for uh, your router device. This will not just provide you with Wi-Fi. You need a SIM inside 4G router or 5G router. So yeah, so thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. This is sort of a more up-to-date version of the outdoor CPE we had previously. And thank you very much for watching and we hope to see you in the next video.